So you've done the homework and you have verified this. And here now is the key insight. If you look at this part right here, that looks an awful lot like if we minimized it, we would get the current solution or approximation to the solution xk. If that had the property that it minimized over the span of all of the previous search directions. Okay. Hmm. If only this disappears, then actually we have terms that only involve y0. There should have been a y0 on here. And terms that involve psi1. So if we can make this disappear, then we can minimize over these terms separate from minimizing over these terms. And then truly, this first part will become, well, will be minimized by xk. If, of course, our search directions had the right properties. And what is that property then? Well, if only this were true about our search directions. Let's write that down. If only p super k minus 1 times a transpose here, times a times little p k were equal to 0, then we end up in this very nice situation. So here now we have a property that we want from our search directions. Now, if we took a away, then this would say that our next search direction is orthogonal to all of the previous search directions. We've seen that kind of thing before. So this is sort of kind of like taking a dot product, except we have this matrix A, this symmetric positive definite matrix A thrown in. And this property right here says that these vectors are A conjugate. And that's the property we want from our search directions for all of these nice things to start happening that we mused about, oh boy, wouldn't this be nice?